Hi, and thanks for watching the DIY Daddy channel. My name is Don, and today we're going to be taking and removing and replacing um, a lawnmower blade. It's quite simple, you just need a few tools. Um, we're going to need a pair of vice grips or a block of wood, something to hold the blade in place. We're going to need a sandwich bag if you have gas in the tank, it's a ratchet or a wrench for the nut, and possibly a hammer or some, and some WD 40 or liquid wrench, depending on how rusty the blade is. So let's take a look. Alright, so first thing you want to do is take a sandwich bag, put it right under the gas cap, and then screw the gas cap right over. This is going to help make sure that gas doesn't pour out when you tip it over. You want to make sure that the gas tank is on the top when you tip it over. Alright, next you're going to make sure you disconnect the plug wire because cranking or turning the, the mower blade may actually start the mower. So this blade looks pretty new, that's because I replaced it last night and I'm still going to show you how to replace it. So what you need to do is take your pair of vice grips or your block of wood and clamp it right down by the blade so the blade can't go past it. Right? And when you're working on this you want to make sure that your hands aren't in front or behind the blade. Keep them in front like this. I'm going to Is going to be that easy? No, it's not. Sometimes they're really rusted, like this one was. This is the blade that I took off before. You can see that it's heavily rusted and severely bent. I made it hard to remove. Now, the best thing you can do is take the old blade off and bring it to. Um, wherever you can get your supplies from. I got this one from Sears. You can get them at Lowe's or Home Depot. Just bring the blade right with you. That way you can get the right length. They come in different lengths and the right uh, hole configuration. Sometimes it's a star hole. Sometimes it's just one hole in the middle. And this one has the three hole configuration. They also have an indication on them. It says grass side out. So you want to make sure you put the blade back on the right way. It's important that you get this back on very tight. <coughs> it's a good chance for you to look underneath the mower to see what kind of condition everything's in. You're going to want to make sure you squish the vice grips around so that your vice is on the, the right side because now you're tightening the blade, not loosening it. Make sure you keep your hands not in front of the blade. So tighten that up. And you're done. Now while we're looking under here, it's a good idea to note that there's there's some rust down here. This mower was given to me. Um, they said it didn't work, but there's just some easy maintenance that needs to be done to it. Uh, but you'll see how it's rusted in here. This is most likely caused by not cleaning it out after each mowing. Grass holds moisture and it makes it rust a lot faster. Alright, so to finish up, all we have to do is take our sandwich bag out from the gas cap and reconnect the plug wire in the front. And we're done. So that's how you change the blade on a mower. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.